Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Picasso style painting, which, which is part of my nude figurative series on a pore painting. But you can use any painting you want. No, like no background or background. This is just some, an idea. Enjoy! Okay, so I'm back. I moved over to the window because it's nice out. So I can see outside. And I got some bunch of pens, pencils, and I'm going to use these ones. The new ones I have. Got some loose, just, I don't know, regular. I don't know what size these are, but whatever. Paintbrushes. This, this is Japanese ink. There's an inkwell. I got this as a kit for my daughter, but she never used it. To practice like Japanese. Right, um, whatever letters, I guess. So what do you do with it? You put water in this stone, put the ink, and then you just rub it. So now I sort of have the basic shape of it, of her, not it, her. Just gonna get rid of some of the unnecessary lines so I don't get too confused. sure about this line. I'm gonna figure it out when I paint it, but this is sort of kind of like that. Not quite as round as the original because I, I would have had to move over a little more, but I didn't want to get more into that. Okay, so now...
Okay, so let's fill in the body and see what happens, how would we feel about this. We figured it out together. Look at that. Is it beautiful? Now the glue have a problem here because this is all dried up. And there. So I'll do with the other painting. Let's see what I did. What I did, what I did, what I did. Yeah. Well, this one here is just didn't do much of the other background stuff. I'm gonna let it dry and come back. Okay, so as you can see, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, I have a whole bunch of pens. They are oil-based markers and some white pen and uh, some paint brushes. So we'll see how I'm gonna use them, mostly for shadowing and highlights and lowlights. Let's really start. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put, first I thought I might not, but I'm thinking I'm going to put on the bottom a line just to, so it doesn't free float in the air, the body. But that comes up later. Right now I'm just going to put on some, put some shadows and define some of the lines a little more so you can see that just using black. Do some shadows all the way around. just watered the black acrylic paint down more to try to put a little bit of structure into it make the uh, shadows a little more softer just trying to define the body a little bit
then I did decide to first I just put a shadow around the figure, but then I decided to uh, put a whole base down where she sits on the ground. Just I just colored it in all black with all the same black acrylic paint. I just found that granted a little more, it doesn't just float in the air somehow. Then I started to put some more details in, I'll design the hair in the face a little more. And you know the shoulders and whatever, just make it a little more defined. And then I started taking out some pens and just doing the same thing, just defining it a little more. It's a little easier with the pen than the paintbrush. I decided to um, use some silver to just put some um, highlights into the piece. I used it on the hair and some other parts of the body. Just get some light into it. The definition. Kept me late. We spent. 
Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. They dream of Just cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up the edges and the details. Just make it look a little more finished. That's pretty much all I'm doing in these last couple of minutes here. doing <laughs> okay guys so you can see in the back there the painting I did we're gonna show you a little closer I guess dun, dun, dun. it's not quite finished it's a little bit of detail but I'm kind of going for the kind of Picasso wasn't obviously the head is too small for the, for the body should have probably went this way more, but that's okay. Like I said, it's kind of a Picasso one. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share. You, that's really how you can support the YouTubers and artists out there. It doesn't cost anything. <laughs>